Hi and welcome to my medieval allotment. My name is Vic and I'm just going to give a full tour of everything what I'm growing on my plot in May. So this is my wild cherry. This is wild cherry. I've had this now for about, I think about two and a half years. I had it in my garden. I got it free on gum tree. Had two of them. Went and picked it up, had them both going in the garden, and I put it here, and it's going here now. So that's my wild cherry. Next, newcomer on my plot. Can anyone guess what this is? This is crab apple. This is crab apple. So I've had this about, I think about three or four weeks and it's doing well. Yep, so there's my crab apple. My olive isn't doing too good. So I'm just going to get another one. Slightly bigger. Okay, let's just move on to this bit here. This is spinach. So I transplanted this uh, about three days ago now, I think. This is my spinach. Just had to give them a little bit of water. Okay, let's move over here now. So this is my blueberry. Last week, all the leaves was red um, because I did not come down and water it. So been down watering it and we had a good rain I think it was three or four days ago so it's starting to look a bit more greener now starting to green up a bit so that's my pioneer blueberry this is my wild garlic let's just look at the wild garlic first I got this from Welsh pool anyone who's been following me you should remember that from last year Welsh pool wild garlic. This is my raspberry, which I got from my next door neighbour plot last year. Probably got it about five inches, something like that. I should give it me, I just planted it. And yeah, just straight into the soil. I didn't leave it in water for three, four days or a week for it to grow roots. I just put it straight in the ground. And here it is. Let's look at my gooseberry. Gooseberry's looking good. And I took a couple cuttings because I want more. So there's one there, just a little one, and one over there near the wild garlic. And look, it's starting to sprout. And I took them cuttings off about a month ago, and this was not on it last month. So yeah, it's doing good. It will grow. Same with this one. Yes, yeah, so that's my gooseberry. Let's go over here. Hold on, back up, back up, back up. I missed one. Let's get back in this. Over here. As you know, I like to go out in the woods. I like to go for a little bit of a walk. What do I see on the sides growing in the hundreds and probably thousands? Yep, you know what it is. This is, e this is strawberry. It's either wild strawberry or green strawberry, I'm not sure. I'll find out. But yeah, there was hundreds, there was thousands, and I just plucked a couple. Simple. And I put it here. So that's my strawberry. Now let's go over here. This is my fig. It's doing good. Look at my fig.
There's my fig. Here's my, I think it's raspberry. Like I said, I told you that I found this next to my plot. I think the next door neighbor was just cutting lots of it down. This is on my plot. So I just stuck it in the ground. And look, as you can see at the top, new growth. So obviously it has gone into shock and all that. But you can see that new growth on there. So I think it will just do fine. And same with that one. Now we'll see about this one. Let's see. These are my blueberry cuttings. Obviously it's gone into shock, but I'm not going to give up on it. Just like how I never gave up on the raspberry cuttings. And the raspberry cutting was even smaller, so let's just see how this does. The blueberry cuttings. Here we have more raspberry. I think this is raspberry. I wasn't sure if this wasn't between um, raspberry and salmonberry. I wasn't sure, but I think it's raspberry. Or it could be salmon. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's just wait and find out together as it grows more. Or if someone knows. We'll see. But yeah, I took some of these cuttings as well. And yeah, it looks like it's doing fine. And this is my bramble, which I got um, not far from my shed. So I just dug it up, what we did, put it in there. And did this about a month ago and it just turned red now it's starting to turn green again looks like it's starting to grow looks like it's gonna be okay this one I've done about three weeks ago yeah that looks like a new grow there from what I can see so this looks like it's gonna be all right as well and this one Right here, so I've got three. As it grows, I'm gonna tie it off, go all the way around this bed. I'm gonna stick loads of poles around it, go all the way around. Have lots of blackberries. So this is my fruit bed, my other second fruit bed. Right there. I still need to finish it off, I will finish it. But yeah, this is how it's looking. All right, this is my kale. So as you can see, it's starting to flower. It will go to seed, so all I will do is just collect the seeds. Yep, so there's not much going on there. So I will grow fresh new quail. Quail. Kale here. I'll do the two kinds, curly kale and uh, Russian kale. I'll do them both on here. And hopefully that should give me seed very very soon lots of seeds let's go over to my herb bed there's my primrose and one on this side primrose is doing good like in this and all i did i just dug this up out of my garden dug some of it up split it off and here it is growing nice so that's my primrose Look how big my time is now. Look at that. Looks like an afro. So yep, the time is doing good. Let's have a nice little look underneath there. Loving my time. Mmm, smells strong as well. Right, this is my sage. Sage is doing good as well. Sage is doing very good. You can see a little bug there. Can you see it? Right there. Little bug. Just leave him. Oops. Sorry, went out of focus there. Okay, my lavender. This is my lavender. This is just a little clipping of rosemary. Let's experiment and see, see if I can grow that back. Just took a little clip in. It's my parsley. Parsley is looking good. This is my oregano. This is my Greek oregano. 
more time I think I'm gonna give that time away because I've already got time over there as you can see and this is my my main rosemary my rosemary but here it is in its glory my my herb bed I'm gonna get a couple more herbs and put them in I want to fill out this bed properly okay let's do this okay so I've got more wild garlic this one was given to me by someone who lives in Yorkshire so this is Yorkshire wild garlic and it's doing fine I wanted to separate from a what from a Welsh pool wild garlic didn't want them going together just want to separate them so I know what's what and this is garlic Looks good, looks like baby corn. This is my garlic. Okay. So we've got spring onions mixed with scallions in here. It's mainly scallion though. This is it. Let's get a better view of it, of all of it. Now let's get closer in. Like how my spring onions have split off. Splitting off, giving me like four in each well there's four in that one how many's in this one one two three four in that one how many in this one sorry my fault once again yep one two three four five wait one two three four five six in that one yep six I'm gonna pluck some of these. A couple of them I'll let go to seed so I can get collect more seeds and the rest I will just pluck. This big one here. Look at this. If I was to dig all that out it will be bigger than a leek. I've let these go from last year. These grew from last year. Look how big my spring onions, my scallions are. Bigger than a leek, honestly. And it's buried in deep as well. There's my red spring onion. Next door neighbour plot, give me that. Um, the old man from across the way on his plot over there. Give me this one. And I just put it in, look, it's split off. So there's one, two, three, oh, and that, it's gonna be four there, three, four. Okay, shallots. Let's get a good look at that, shallots. I put these in last, I think it was winter, I think. Let's just see how many shallots I'm getting in some of these, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See about nine in that one. How many in this one? Quite a few. Five in that one. Yes, yeah, so much lots are doing good. Oh, I can't wait to harvest some of this. I'm gonna save money. You know how much fruit and veg has gone up? My gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna sort this out. The kale, what, was it kale what I put in here from what I can remember? Yeah, it just died. Sort that out properly. Look at my rubesy, my rhubarb. 
I've already harvested about four stalks already. Well, let's have a look. Look at that. Let's get right in there. I love nature, I love it. I'm gonna harvest a couple more. Small one over here. And a baby one here, look. Okay. Small, medium, large. So this is the dad rhubarb. This is the mum rhubarb. And that's the baby rhubarb. Right, I don't want any arguments in the comment section about which this one is, right? If I said this is the dad, this is the dad, not the mum, okay? Got some kale here. Going to, going to seed as well. This one, I'm gonna prepare for my courgette. So I've been pluck, pulling up a lot of dandelion and I've just been putting it in here to let it just rot down just to feed that. But yeah, let me get it all in context. So this is my allotment so far. Need to get more wood chip. And I'm liking it. Right, I need to do some work over on this side. Let's just have a look. I will get started on this, but one thing at a time. I think the most important thing is I need to tackle that shed first around there. Let's see what other herbs I'm growing. What's already on this plot? So look, what's this? We've got more over here. Woodhaven. Woodhaven. Dandelion. Stinging nettle. Got more bramble. So this is where I got my bramble from. It was actually growing around about here. And I just dug it out and I just transplanted them over there last month, three, four weeks ago. And we've got, oh, look at all this. Look at this. Cuz where are you, man? Leaving me to do all this by myself. Sure. But anyway, don't worry, I'll get on with it. I will get on with it. Oh, I forgot. I'm just experimenting to see what I can do in here. Um, some dates, some seeds, some date seeds, loads. Put about five or ten of them in there. Just messing about. Just see what happens. That's just rhubarb root, that. Just seeing what happens. It's in there. Let's see if anything comes up. But yeah, if I can't not harvest one more rhubarb right now, you know what I mean? Off camera, I've got to do it on camera, innit? So they say twist and pull. Yeah. And then I was told, do not eat the leaves because they're toxic. So yeah. I won't. So I'm doing that now so more sunshine can get in. And then some of the baby ones what have died off in there can get more light and come up. Get rid of this. Don't you just love nature? Look at it. I've seen all sorts of bugs and little creeper crawlies in there. Loving it. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah. So you know what? I'm so glad I listened to some of yours that I didn't get rid of these. Because I definitely needed the water in these. When it was over winter, it, the water filled up probably about say about halfway in all three. And I, honestly I needed it. So I'm so glad I didn't throw this away. And this pipe is gonna come in handy. But let me show you what I'm gonna do. Let me put down my camera one minute. So I'm gonna do something like that to collect more water. And I've got more pipes around the side as well. Let me show you. Oh, it just looks like a nightmare. Yeah, this shed bit area is gone. 
I can't remember if I mentioned that on the previous video. But yeah, look, I've got another one there. Another long pipe there. And yeah, on another one there. So I've got three. At least three. I might have more around on the other side as well. So I'm actually so glad I didn't get rid of it. I'm just gonna tie it off at the shed there and put all three. Just move these bins closer. I might, in fact, I might do it at the back. Once I clear all that bit up there, let this airplane go past because I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, my plan is get rid of all this little jungle here. All of this jungle and get it looking like what day was it? Was it day four or day five on my medieval allotment makeover? I think it was day four. Anyway, get it looking like that again. Wood chip everything this time. Wood chip it. All of this will be wood chipped. Then get these bins and the water box over there at the back. Then get them pipes going down into each water box there and then that's how i'm gonna collect my water so obviously when the rain fills it like i said i left it all over winter autumn and winter and it only collected halfway in each one and i've used most of them most of the water already hardly nothing in there and this one's almost gone it's full of dead flies though and that one is gone so i think if i put the pipe in as well that will help collect rainwater going down in each one. So, yeah, I should have full water bo water bins and water bins. But yeah, this is my medieval allotment. As I said from last year, I can't just grow medieval um, European crops in here because well, everything's just going to expensive. I need to start growing the things what I eat. So I've decided to grow things what was being grown worldwide in the medieval period. So obviously all the ancient stuff worldwide, not just what was here in medieval um, Europe. Because we're living in times where food is just expensive now. Everything's expensive and I can't afford to be buying lots of stuff what I like to eat in the shops what's really expensive. You know what I mean? I want to grow a little Aki tree here, man. Trust me. I want to grow an Aki tree and some other stuff. Or we grow in Jamaica. But um, I think I might have to get a polytunnel for that, to be honest. But yeah, hopefully I can get that shed knocked down, man. Once I've cleared all that, get that shed knocked down, get a polytunnel there instead. And I can grow my exotic ancient crops in there. So yeah, this is my medieval allotment. So let me take my rhubarb. Thank you for tuning in. Get rid of you. Don't want you. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you soon for another update. Goodbye.